sixth chapter trigonometric ratios of two transformation this chapter belongs to mathematics 1a part 43 last part completed in the ratio of sin term sin square a plus sin square b plus sin square c model today discuss total ratios in cos what is that problem if a plus b plus c equal to 180 degrees or pi radius then pt nothing but prove that cos square a plus cos square b minus cos square c is equal to 1 minus 2 sin a into sin b into cos c first of all you can we have to take lhs part what is that lhs part lhs part is cos square a plus cos square b minus cos square c this one is the lhs part in this part you can write cos square a is equal to 1 minus sin square a cos square a equal to 1 minus sin square a in the first two identity of the trigonometry what is the first identity sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 then cos square a equal to 1 minus sin square a write down in this first one 1 minus sin square a plus cos square b minus cos square c you can write in place of cos square a 1 minus sin square a here 1 this plus cos square b you can write first after that you can write minus sin square a after the last of this sequence one second is very nice. 1 plus cos square b minus sin square a minus cos square c see students observe this cos square b minus sin square a formula is there cos square b minus sin square a what is the problem cos square b minus sin square a formula is what cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b what is the formula cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b that one is the formula you can write this formula you get what 1 plus cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b minus cos of square c here you can write in place of cos of square b minus sin square a you can write this formula you do know that straight you know that a plus b plus c equal to 180 degrees then a plus b is equal to 180 minus c this one is the formula a plus b equal to 180 minus c write down in this formula you get what 1 plus cos of 180 minus c a plus b nothing but 180 minus c into cos of a minus b minus cos of square c minus cos of square c 180 minus t 1 by 180 minus theta lies on which quadrant students 180 minus theta lies on second quadrant second quadrant this cos is negative 180 is even function cos can be written as cos what is the value of theta theta value is see that's why you can write 1 plus 180 minus theta cos is negative 180 is even cos c into cos of a minus b minus cos of square c after that we can write here 1 plus into minus minus cos c cos of a minus b minus cos of square c one second expression is 1 plus into minus minus cos c into cos of a minus b minus cos of square c after that you can write in these two terms observe the stress in this two term minus a comma cos c also be common you get what 1 minus cos c will be common remaining cos of a minus b plus cos c correct or not students 1 minus cos c into cos of a minus b is a minus into plus minus cos c into cos c cos of scale c here a plus b plus c equal to 180 degrees then c is equal to 180 minus a minus b you can write 180 minus of a plus b this is the value of c what is the c value c value is minus 180 minus of a plus b you can write here 1 minus cos c into cos of a minus b plus cos c what is the value of c here c value is 180 minus of a plus b ok students understood or not in, in place of c 180 minus of a plus b 180 minus theta is coordinate 
a plus b value is 1 a to minus c. You can write in place of a plus c, a plus b, 1 a to minus c. 1 a to minus c is the second quadrant, second quadrant cos is negative, cos is negative, 1 a to is even function, cos capital S, once again cos unchanged. Similar, c is equal to written by 1 a to minus of a plus b. C is equal to written as 1 AD minus of A plus B. Here also be 1 AD minus theta lies on second quadrant. That is also be cos negative. 1 AD is even function. You can write these two formulas after that. Here cos square C is there. Here cos square C is there. Cos square C cannot be changed. Cos square C also we can write cos square C. After that you can common cos C. You get solve total problem, previous problem, order. Just to Difference between previous problem and this problem in place of this place you can write minus that is previous problem. In this in that previous problem, you can write in place of minus plus, you get simplified total answer, you get answer 1 minus 2 cos A into cos B into cos C. Okay, student, understood or not? Here this homework problem some hint is given, you can use that means solve the problem, previous problem order.